Today we are going to talk about dissections. That's when you cut a shape into several pieces to rearrange them into a different shape. For example, you can cut this triangle into four pieces and rearrange them into a square. It may not seem that complicated, but let's see the process for a more difficult example. Let's say we have two Greek crosses and we want to cut them and turn them into one big Greek cross. How do you do that? If you can turn two crosses into one, it means, for example, 200 crosses can also be turned into 100 bigger cross. Every two of them becomes one. Now think about it again. It means that two large patterns one made from the small cross and one made from the big cross should show some periodic behavior when you put one on top of the other one. Let's see. We can tile the floor using this small cross easily. Similar to that, we can tile the floor using the larger cross. Now let's see what happens when you put one on top of the other one. And now you just see you have a pattern that repeats everywhere. And this figure tells you how you need to cut the small cross in order to make the bigger one. Now let's use this method again to see if we can turn a Greek cross into a square with the same area. Again, we start by tiling floor with the cross and then overlapping it with another tiling pattern using the square. And you can easily see from this pattern how to cut the cross into five pieces to rearrange them into a square. But can you do this with less than five pieces? It turns out that yes, you can. This is a still a repetitive pattern which tells you how to cut the cross into four pieces to make a square out of it. Also, this pattern needs only two cut to turn the cross into four pieces to make a square. Now let's work on a difficult case. A 12-sided regular polygon or a dodecagon turning into a square. First, we try to tile the floor again using this 12-sided polygon. It seems we have a problem. There are some empty space in the middle which is not covered. Let's try it again. Again, there seems to be a problem. In fact, no matter how much you try, you cannot cover the whole floor with just this 12-sided polygon. Maybe we can turn this into a stripe instead of tiling the floor. Let's see. We consider this case and we cover the empty space in the middle with another pair of the polygon, like this. Now let's focus on this portion only. Let's cut it like this and also like this. And this figure shows how we can make a stripe out of this polygon. And we can use this style to cover the floor easily. Let's overlap it with the square pattern. And now we have the solution.
I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.